So, hello. How is it going, everybody? This is Devin, or Bacon, from Bacon Plays. You can call me whatever you prefer. And, and today, I'm going to be bringing you a tour of my faction's world. Uh, and by mine, I mean like me and my friends. Uh, but basically, this is Minecraft Factions on Xbox One. And yeah, as you can tell, this is the tutorial world. But we've edited it uh, quite a lot. Actually, uh, like the whole faction board here, uh, this whole part wasn't here. This uh, should say Minecraft. On this side it says Minecraft, but the other, it's factions. But, um, I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour of the main area. And then you guys can figure out the rest for yourself once it opens up for beta in a few days. Probably about a week or less. So I will make an update video for the five of you watching this video and that are interested. So let's start off with the admin board. So the admin board is basically yeah, you guys can read these signs for yourself, but it basically explains what the uh, admins are doing. Right now, we got um, my friend ASVB King, or Purple Reigns. Uh, you can go check out his YouTube channel. I'll make a link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. He made a tour video of his own. So if you want to check that out, it's pretty nice. Anyways, so uh, Frost, this is one of the admins that are offline, so it has a bed. Uh, me and uh, ASVB King are working on uh, construction, so that's why we have a golden helmet. But anyways, uh, over here we have like a preview shop, quote unquote, where you can basically check out what kind of things are in the shop. It's not finished. This is pretty much all we have to do, and then we're opening it up for beta once we finish up the shop. But you can buy food, as you can see, you can buy spawn eggs, obsidian, ender pearls, uh, more eggs, special like soul sand blocks and shit like that, uh, cookies, cake, yeah, you get it, the concept. But, but yeah, also you can buy golden apples, and also got apples, but they're really expensive, but I'll get to that. So, what's up next is the rule board. Uh, we made it nice and colorful, and... The fuck? Why is there two chick? Never mind. Anyways, um, <laughs> we got the rules. So we got a two-day ban for no killing enemy territory unless during a raid. So like, if I walk up into one of the clan's territories and just kill them for no reason, then that's a two-day ban. So next up is a one-week ban for killing in the spawn. You dumbass! Like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, this whole area here, this is like a safe zone. If you kill in it, it's a weak ban. Here is a perma ban if you grief at faction spawn. And then also a perma ban if you grief friendly faction zone. So basically, if you grief this, or anything like that, or you go to like one of the other factions and grief their houses or your own houses, then it's a perma ban. So basically, just no then we got a one-day ban for killing the same faction member, purposely, specifically, because uh, if you're just like randomly swinging your sword around, and then you fuck up, and accidentally hit your teammate and he dies, that's fine. And also, um, don't try to break out the faction spawn. Like, it just doesn't work. Anyways, no mining in unauthorized areas. If mined, one day ban. So, all like currency that you have, so like uh, emeralds, diamonds, uh, gold, and shit that you have on you is basically taken off of you and you're banned for a whole day. And also, not in like Minecraft days, like an actual day. So, like, say Monday, you get banned, you won't be able to play until Tuesday. Next, um, we just got a little thing here. Also, uh, majorly exploiting, so basically cheating will be a one-week ban. 
Anyways, what we got here is the little red carpet explaining that if you leave the faction spawn through uh, the red carpet, then you're fucked. Unless you run back in. So, if I have... Give me a second. If I have a red carpet here, once I step over this line, somebody can just kill me whenever. You are allowed to kill anybody anytime. As long as it's not in like a spawn area or anything like that. Um, but if you do just go to a random faction spawn. So like over there, let's just say one of the factions are over there. Then basically you go in there and then you just start killing everybody. No. But like if they're outside of their spawn, then yeah. Kill them all you want. So next. We have the five major clans. We have deserted. Natured. Royalist, Aquarius, and Volcania. Um, each of them are run by the admins. I am the one that like basically came up with the idea. Uh, Steven helped me out a little bit, but for the most part, I'm the one that just came up with the idea of the names, how they work, how they function, what they get. I'll get into that. Anyways, I'm the leader of the Volcania clan, so once you decide to join that, uh, I will be your leader. Steven, or ASVP King here, the guy that's in the server right now, is the leader of the Royalist. Um, a friend of mine named Dan, he also is an admin. He works on this. Uh, this is a gamer tag if you want to go uh, check him out. But anyways, he's the leader of the Aquarius. And then nobody's the Natured Clan yet. Uh, I feel like nobody's going to pick the Natured Clan because it's not that good. But it is like a neutral clan. So if you guys just want to do whatever the fuck you want, pick nature. Alright, anyways, the deserted clan is the final one, run by Frostbit Pixel. Uh, that's half of his name, just add Pixel to the end. And you guys can friend him, he's a pretty cool guy. He's the leader of the deserted. So, uh, I'm gonna get more into detail with that. But, oh shit, um... Uh, sorry about that. Hold on. We had some technical difficulties. Anyways, um, I was going on to here. This is the trading in loot crates. This is the uh, easy trade or fast trade. Uh, let's start with that. This is the quick shop. So you can just like fast trade things like that. So the main currency is going to be emeralds. But um, they only take specific items like the leather boots uh, you can buy. They're not that good, so you may have, uh, leather pants, my bad. You're never gonna want to do that. Anyways, uh, you can get 11 leather and trade it for an emerald. This guy, that's basically like the farmer guy, you can just trade, um, farming shit for emeralds. And this guy is coal, so like, whenever you go mining, if you get coal, since there's a lot of it, you can just trade it to him and get some emeralds. Anyways, uh, next up is... Uh, test your luck area, or are you lucky? That's what it says on the sign here. It's kind of hard to le uh, read, but anyways, this is like test your luck area. You can uh, test your luck all you'd like, um, but basically, here you got starter kits in loot crates, and also like uh, you got a place like the ten that the stars in that you'll get at the very beginning once you pick your clan. Um, I'll get into that more later, but basically, you place the emerald on the bottom. And you get um, a kit, and it's a chance. It's like you place four emeralds down, and then you can get a random kit. We're probably going to increase that price a lot, because that's actually quite cheap for the kits. Uh, because if you get really lucky, then yeah. But anyways, uh, there are some really bad kits in there. Then again, it's kind of like a lottery type of thing. So you spin it and lose, then... That's your fault. Anyways, up next is the top three factions area, which is straight ahead. The shop and the faction soldiers, basically. And, well, the faction board, as I like to call it. Um, we got all the clans, right? So, we got the royalists. This is their flag. So, if you see that, that means you're in royalist territory. And then, we got ASVP King as the leader. 
as I explained before. Then we have the Aquarius with Dan MLG as the leader. Um, these guys are like a water and like potions and shit. I'll explain it all in a minute. Anyways, uh, natured. Nobody's in the natured yet. And then we got deserted, which is frostbit pixel. Uh, now let's get on. So let's get on with this. But um, this clan, the royalist, they're able to get like basic iron armor right at the beginning for the kit. They get basic iron armor and stone tools or iron tools. I'm not sure 100% yet. We're thinking of stone though, because uh, you do get two diamonds to start off with. Because um, royalist. Each clan has like a special thing to go with it. Royalists are the only ones allowed to craft diamond gear. But doesn't mean it comes at like a cheap price either. Like they're the only ones that are able to physically craft it. But the rest, they're not able to. But if I were to kill someone from the Royalist that had diamond armor, I can still use it. Um, anyways. We got the Aquarius up next. And they're not too, too special. They don't excel in combat, but they have like a lot of things like potions and wise and shit. So we got them with the access to golden apples. They're allowed to make golden apples. They're also allowed to make every potion besides jump, invis, and fire resistance. Those are the only three they're not able to make. Up next is the Volcania, which I am the leader of. Um... Where, I'm not going to explain the starter kits for these guys. I will explain that once the thing opens up. But anyways. Um, for them. They basically get like. Access to fire resistant gear. And like. Uh, everything related to fire. So they can get like flint and steels. Lava buckets. Fire resistant potions. You get the point. Like everything themed around fire. Deserted. Um, basically. They're like in the desert area. So. They're going to kind of have, like, backstory, which is basically, oh, yeah, these guys have been, like, droven out by the, uh, well, driven out, my bad, uh, by the royalist. And, basically, they're screwed and they're stuck in the desert. So, they have to learn how to live in the harsh environments and shit. So, basically, they're able to have access to horse armor and also horses. They're the only ones allowed to ride them. And then, also... They're only ones able to use invisibility potions. And then we got the natured, which they're like really good at parkour and stuff. So they get jump potions and also the access to infinity bows on their, And they're the only ones that are allowed to craft bows. So that's it for the factions. Uh, I basically came up with all these flags as well. You can take a look at them. Um, you guys can pause the video here if you want to take a look at them. Um, but basically... Up next is the top three factions. So here you can see like the top ranking factions. We got the third, first, second. Yeah, these are just like the top three factions. The ones that are doing the best. They got like the most kills, the most um, like raids successfully. And then yeah. So up next is the shop. This, you can't cheat the system. So like as example, let me go grab some gold. So... It costs five gold, so basically what you do is you place the gold on the bottom. And then you gotta give it a minute, and then once you hear that piston, boom, you got an anti pearl. So I'm gonna put that in my inventory for now. But um the same goes for this. We're gonna increase the price on this probably. Ten iron for three obsidian. We might lower it down to one obsidian because obsidian's really good. Anyways, up next is TNT, where it's five iron for one TNT. Um, we're probably going to change that up a bit as well. Probably going to be 3 iron for 1 TNT because they're really useful for raining. Um, then we got the only thing that is allowed to be, like, bought that is, like, pretty overpowered would have to be this. Uh, don't let the diamonds fool you. They're actually diamond blocks for one god apple, which is, like, the golden apples that are really good. Anyways... Um, yeah, this is the guy I was talking about, uh, Purple Rain Man, he's ASVP King. Um, he's gonna be, like, putting little hints to subscribe to our channels and stuff. So, yeah. Um, we got some of the wall credits, we are still working on them, but for now we just got Frostbit, uh, that is part of the Deserted Clan. 
he's a leader, like uh, you saw before. Oh, there he's a uh, yeah, SVP king. All right. Anyways, uh, we got the carpeting done by I believe it was Frost or SVP king. I don't remember. But then we have uh, the ceiling here. This was made by me, and the wall was also made by Frost. And then down here, this whole carpeting. This took me a while to do. It took me about like 20 minutes uh, to do the first time. And then it took me only like 10 the next time because this all got broken. Anyways, uh, me and ASVP King worked on these two things. This is just like future items that you might be able to buy. Um, a little sneak peek. But we got the special shops over here. Yeah, the special shops will have special items like weekly. For the first week only though. You would be able to buy these boots, not the boots I'm wearing, but these, the Mega King boots. They're a part of a kit that you must pay for, and also, like, you gotta donate, and you have to subscribe to both our channels in order to get. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it for the store, except for the nature place in the glass. Um, I'm gonna be changing this. I did the redstone working for this, so basically there's gonna be this, and then you'll be like, okay, it'll be like entrance, the forest, thingamajigger. Then you can go into here, and then there'll be like a forest in here that we're going to be making. But, for the most part, it's just kind of like this for now. Um, we got about this and like the rest of the shop to work on, and then we're pretty much done with the world. So, time to get on to the last part, which is like the main hub area. Which is right over here. So, this is like a little area where you can go into like different little... Shops, I guess you could say. This is the AFK room, which you could just chill out in. Uh, say AFK, but if you do need to like get kicked for some reason, whether it be your AFK for too long, and you're lagging up the server, or somebody wants to join in your place, yeah, that's things that happen. Anyways, this is like the smelting room and like kind of like crafting room, I guess you could say, with uh, anvils. So you can use anvils in here. This is a trash bin that you cannot cheat. If you throw it in, it's gone permanently, so be careful about what you throw in. All these are stacked with uh, 64 stacks of blocks of coal, so you can smell things for days. And yeah, then we got a couple more things. We got the WIP. I don't know what that stands for. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, that's about it. This is just like, oh yeah, that's right. This is like a hotel room where you can like buy like these rooms. You're gonna get keys for them and yeah we're gonna have to find a system so like you can't cheat it and just break it to other people's rooms uh unless we run on the honor system which i don't entirely trust but yeah it's all good anyways this is like a hotel thing and also the wip that's a work in progress uh, of course this is in beta mode that's gonna be coming up uh this is also work in progress um, I think this is the storage room area or something like that. I forget. Oh, I'm trying to think. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Maybe some sort of like poaching shop or something like that. Or cafe where you can buy food. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to check in with the other admins on that one. But, um, yeah. We got one more, I believe. Yeah, right here. This is the Factionly Bank. So, I know all about this. Basically, you will get keys that you gotta, like, give to an admin to unlock your vault. To basically run on the trust system. Not so much. So, you'll get, like, a special item saying yada yada yada's name, whatever. Like, let's just say, uh, ASVP King's key. You'll show them that. And then they'll be like, okay, I'll go open up your door. And then your name would be on one of these. And this is basically like a bank area where you can deposit things. And don't have to worry about getting great. God damn it, Steven. Or Ashby King. I call him Steven. That's his actual name. Anyways, um, that's about it. We're going to be adding some more things. But uh, one more thing. We also installed the red carpet thing that we were talking about before. Yeah. Once you pass that red carpet, you're out. So, um, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry if this dragged on a bit. This should only be like 15 minutes long or about. But, um, yeah, this is the Minecraft Faction world. This will be open to beta within the week. So, um, subscribe and click on that little bell 
next to the subscribe button just in case uh, you don't get notifications and that will assure you get notifications. So I hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys are interested in this, like I said, I'll be making a video so if you press that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be able to tell whenever a video is uploaded. So for now, um, this has been the Minecraft Factions and Bacon from Bacon Plays. I will talk to you guys later.